Hello friends, I am back again with my Zebulon painting. Um, it's been a little while so the painting has dried completely and um, I'm going to be doing um, several things to finish up this painting. One thing I wanted to mention to you is that it is a good idea as you're painting to on occasion step back look at your painting and let it speak to you let it tell you where it needs a little bit of extra work and in so doing you can make changes along the way however if the painting doesn't speak to you in any significant way then put it aside for a few days uh, you know a few weeks even but then go back and look at it with fresh eyes and having done that myself, I can tell you that what I've decided about this painting overall is that um, the level of depth in this painting is lost by the fact that these trees are on the same tonal level as uh, the middle ground and the foreground. And while this is primarily my focus for the painting. Um, it should not be on an equal plane with everything else. So what I'm going to do to correct that as I'm finishing up touches on the background is that I'm going to glaze these trees and I'm going to be using some of my medium uh, to thin down my grade greens and I can gray that, the green that I'm using, I can gray it down with just a touch of red, but it needs to be um, diluted significantly in order to make it work as a glaze. Um, in addition, I'm going to be doing some finishing touches on the building itself. Um, in the photograph that I'm using, uh, Zebulon appears here on the building. Now I have made a little pencil sketch of where that is so that's one of the things that I will be doing but um, I'm also going to be finishing this foreground which I'm not at all happy with so not sure where I'm going with that but my plan is to finish in this episode in this session so hang in there with me and um, I will be speeding this up, but from time to time, I will do some uh, voiceover and give some information or even slow down at some point to speak to you about what I'm doing. So um, enjoy the video and thanks for watching. And I hope that you will like, comment, share, or subscribe to my channel and I will be posting some information about my website along the way and again thank you for watching hello friends I am back again with my Zebulon painting um, it's been a little while so the painting has dried completely and um, I'm going to be doing um, several things to finish up this painting. One thing I wanted to mention to you is that it is a good idea as you're painting to on occasion step back, look at your painting and let it speak to you. Let it tell you where it needs a little bit of extra work and in so doing you can make changes along the way however if the painting doesn't speak to you in any significant way then put it aside for a few days uh, you know a few weeks even but then go back and look at it with fresh eyes and having done that myself i can tell you that what i've decided about this painting overall is that um, the level of depth in this painting is lost by the fact that these trees 
are on the same tonal level as the middle ground and the foreground. And while this is primarily my focus for the painting, um, it should not be on an equal plane with everything else. So what I'm going to do to correct that as I'm finishing up touches on the background is that I'm going to glaze these trees and I'm going to be using some of my medium uh, to thin down my grayed greens and I can gray that the green that I'm using I can gray it down with just a touch of red but it needs to be um, diluted significantly in order to make it work as a glaze. Um, in addition, I'm going to be doing some finishing touches on the building itself. Um, in the photograph that I'm using, um, Zebulon appears here on the building. Now I have made a little pencil sketch of where that is, so that's one of the things that I will be doing but um, I'm also going to be finishing this foreground which I'm not at all happy with so not sure where I'm going with that but my plan is to finish in this episode in this session so hang in there with me and um, I will be speeding this up but from time to time I will do some uh, voiceover and give some information or even slow down at some point to speak to you about what I'm doing. So um, enjoy the video and thanks for watching and I hope that you will like, comment, share, or subscribe to my channel and I will be posting some information about my website along the way. And again, Thank you for watching. I am sorry about this video. One of the problems that I'm having is that I'm working flat, so my canvas keeps getting tilted, and uh, that's creating a visual problem for me at least. And then the lighting in the video is changing because I'm working with natural light and that naturally is changing as the day goes along. In addition to that, um, when the sun has gone down, I'm using uh, incandescent light. So that's problem too. So just bear with me. I will certainly show a photograph of the which should be both straight and uh, correctly lighted.
certainly the uh, colors that I've chosen for this painting. And I'm also standing back and looking from time to time at areas that need a little work. And um, as I mentioned, I do really have a lot of work to do yet on this painting. So uh, again, hang in there with me and I'll be back. Okay, I've toned down the trees and I still have a little more work to do on them and uh, a little more work to do back here to recede those further back. I've touched them up a little bit. Um, I realized that this area, it should be more in shadow. So I'm going to be toning these uh, weeds, as it were down a bit and I'm um, giving this a little more of a shadow effect though it's not a deep shadow and then working on this um, this is a paved road back here but I'm thinking because um, it's it's so bright it sort of takes over this little corner of the painting but I'm thinking I'm going to make that a dirt road so we'll see how that works and so I'm going to continue on, so um, keep watching, it's going to get better as time goes on and have a lot more um, details on my limbs and um, actually the more I look at this painting the more I realize how much work I actually have to do to make it satisfactory to me. So again, stay tuned.
would like to mention to you that I'm working on this painting all over at the same time. That keeps me from getting stuck in one place and it also provides some harmony overall. And that's because I'm using the same color mixture pretty much all over the painting. It's okay to change the mixture. The main objective is to achieve harmony, both in color and composition, and to keep the eye moving around the painting. You will notice as this video continues, there will be a change in the color and that is because I'm using natural light and that's going to change as I'm working. In addition to that, uh, when the sun has gone down and I can no longer use the natural light, then I'm actually using uh, LED lamps. So uh, that's the problem with the lighting. I do apologize. Well folks, I'm going to call this painting finished, finally. I have been working on it off and on for probably a year now, um, which should not trouble you if you're a new painter, because uh, I have actually um, put this back several times uh, for a few months actually. But there is a lot of detail in this painting, and one of my aims in doing this series on the Zebulon Train Depot is to indicate to you about how important it is to um, give some time when you're working on a painting, number one, but number two, to emphasize the importance of all the different aspects of painting a painting such as this. Um, this is 18 by 24 inches, which is it's not a really small painting, so a lot more work has gone into this. But the beginning of this particular portion, I was talking about uh, getting those trees to recede into the background. Um, I think I've accomplished that. Um, I've also um, done a lot of other details to make things a little more crisp. Um, I consider myself a representational painter. I'm actually more of a chameleon than anything else, but um, I just kind of go with whatever I want to do at the time. And basically that's what art should be about from the perspective of an artist. In this particular case, I have a sort of romantic attachment to this particular train depot, which I've spoken about in the earlier sessions as I was beginning this painting. And I think as an artist, I actually become spiritually involved and engrossed in whatever I'm working on. And I think that's maybe what art is all about. I think when I discovered that I get spiritually involved is when I realized what art is. And for every artist, of course, that's going to be different. But I do want to encourage those of you who have been watching this series to go back and look at some of the others and um, pay some attention to 
to what I'm talking about because that's my purpose in this is as a tutorial. So I hope that you will like, comment, share, and certainly subscribe to my channel. I've enjoyed working on this with you and thank you for coming along and thank you for hanging in there with me and I'll be back with other art tutorials. Bye for now.